Please help me. You've got to plant seeds in me. Sorry, I... what? I know I'm dead. I don't want to be a useless corpse. My body could become soil for plants. My colleagues and I will leave a trace. We were working for the good of the Soviet Union. I definitely can't help you with that. Okay. Sorry, I, I gotta keep moving. Remember to save the results of your experimental data and clear your workspace at the end of your shift. This is the yellow cylinder we're looking for? Are you shitting me? There should be a smaller one around here somewhere. Sure fucking hope so. There's nothing else here. Whatever. We'll just bring the whole goddamn tank back. It ought to be enough for that fucking freak show. Indeed. Pesticide level decreased. Now at 10%. Hey, Charles. This sucks ass, doesn't it? As soon as the hemlock stops being sprayed with... ...fertilizer, it will wake up. And it'll crush the living fuck out of everything here, including us.
Another poor bastard. Picked the wrong hiding place. Quiet! There's a mutant nearby. You won't find us here. We should be safe. Oh, the lights went out. I hate to disappoint you, but I'm gonna get going. Hey, Charles. If I get killed, will I turn into a talking dead too? Will I just lay there in a corner mumbling half-intelligible bullshit? It's hard to say. On the one hand, you don't have any neuropolymer memory. On the other, your body has undergone a high degree of polymerization. So... yes or no? We lack the data to make the determination. There's only one way to find out. Uh... I think I'll pass. Thanks. Pesticide level decreased now at six percent. We need to hurry. Crispy critters, I'm trying. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
social control by end of day. Level decreased. Now at four percent. Situation is critical. Where's that guy with the pump? Did he quit or something? Pesticide level decreased. Now at two percent. We're all going to die. Okay with me. You first. I'm out of PA-400. You don't figure out something soon, we're toast. Take it easy, pal. I found it. Look down there. There's your container. You got any idea what it took to get it here? Shit! Not like that. That won't kill it. You were supposed to blow it up. Damn it. What do we do now? It's awake. We gotta ignite the polymer. Give me your cigarette. You can ignite polymer with a cigarette? This one? Yeah. Die, you prick! Holy fuck, it's going ape shit! It's in range! We gotta run before it. Hang on! God damn it! The oh, fuck! My leg! You okay, buddy? Yeah, we did it! Shit, Sprouts, get the fuck up! My leg is stuck. Shoot it already! There's too many of them! Hurry! I'm trying! If they get to us, we're dead! Have you thought dead. about aiming better? They're almost here! Get up! Get up! I'm trying! I'm trying! Fuck! No! no. Help me! Get it off me! Hang on, buddy. I'm coming. Oh, shit. The fucking canister. Well, it's something. Mutated. No shit, Sherlock. Remember that all employees are to refrain from discussing Crispy crap! Get the fuck off me! Holy shit, that was insane. You guys seriously got nothing better to do in these labs? Please select the desired procedure.
Access granted. Authorization, Major Nichayev. You're one sick motherfucker. Oh, my God. 
Charles, they didn't used to monkey around with the birch tree like this all the time, did they? Indeed. The birch tree is first and foremost a symbol, although it does require a certain amount of careful tending every two days. So every other day you gotta run around collecting four different canisters? Ugh, what a pain in the ass. It's too bad how it all ended up. No one ever thought something like this could happen. It was always going to the stars. The bright future that awaits us. Now all I can do is lie here and think about it all. How long ago did the robots attack? To be honest, I haven't been very good at keeping track of time. But it must have been quite a while ago. At least a few days. How did you end up in the corridor? I was the first one they did in. Lab Tech 42 did it. I went to get some coffee, and it grabbed me by the neck, and snapped it, right here. Well, I gotta run. All right, see you. Great. The birch tree's thawing out. Optimal temperature has been restored. Pesticide polymer canister connected. I hate all parasites, human or otherwise. At least the tree can breathe easy now. The pests have been eliminated, and the, the birch tree has returned to normal. Power generator is now fully operational. Power supply restored. Done. The gate is open.
We can leave the Vavilov complex now. Fucking finally. We did it, Comrade Major. Slow your roll, Glove. I did it. I provided moral support. Yeah, whatever. I guess you helped a little. How are you feeling? That question doesn't really apply to me, but thank you for your concern. I am fine. Are we ready to leave now? Yeah, sure. I'm not exactly itching to stick around. Charles, how did Cheriton Zaharov die? Under mysterious circumstances. Dr. Sechenov is the only one who knows the details of his demise. Mysterious circumstances, huh? Dr. Sechenov really didn't tell anybody what happened? He did. The story is that Professor Zaharov slipped and fell into a lab bath full of a hazardous experimental neuropolymer. Ah, oh, shit. Poor bastard. What's so mysterious about that? Some people are puzzled by certain aspects of the story. Like what? Due to a bizarre concatenation of circumstances, no footage of this fateful moment was ever recovered, even though the labs are always monitored. Well, shit happens, right? Sometimes cameras break, or data doesn't get recorded. That is entirely possible. Another peculiarity is that the polymer in question isn't hazardous at all. There's no way it could kill someone. You yourself love to swim in it. Oh, okay. But maybe that polymer was a unique experimental sample or something. Like, a dangerous strain. That is also entirely possible. We need to go to Lesnaya Station and take the train to Solnitsnaya. We will continue on foot from there. And where are we supposed to find this station? It's on the other side of the village we're now in. Let's go. Saving data. 